and have to decide what it is you want. I, I just want you to be happy, Laney, like you used to be. Mom, I can't breathe. Don't you want to be happy? <sighs> what do you want? I, I'd love to smile like that again. Can you tell me a little bit about how how you came to make this film? The movie is based on a novel written by Amy Koppelman, also called I Smile Back. And Amy never intended it to be a film. She wrote it about 10 years ago when she was driving down the West Side Highway listening to Howard Stern. And uh, Sarah Silverman was on the program talking about her book, um, where she you know, talks about coming up in the business, but also uh, her struggles with depression and psychopharmacology. And Amy heard that interview and just thought that Sarah would understand the character. They were able to get her the book. Sarah read the book. They had lunch in New York, and Sarah said, as the story goes, if you turn this into a screenplay and it doesn't suck, then uh, I'll do it. And I was incredibly moved by it. There are a lot of people in my life struggling with mental illness and struggling with addiction and recovery. I just really f was moved by the story and fell in love with it and was thankfully able to convince them that I should be the one to direct it. You know, what were some of the choices you made in, in so far as how you constructed the film and, you know, the way we follow Sarah through this journey? It was so clear from early on in the shoot that Sarah was giving everything to it and she was really just inspiring everyone so much and, and uh, was so fearless in the way that she attacked the role that, you know, it just, it just supported that idea to visually stay with her. Uh, it's one of those kinds of roles that is so demanding in that way. And uh, the idea was just to stay with her as much as possible and draw you into her struggle. It, we weren't setting out to, to show something that was specifically sympathetic for Amy and Paige, the co-writer, and myself and the producers. You know, we really just wanted to tell a version of the story that was the truth as we saw it, which is that you know, for people who are struggling with these kinds of things and uh, that they can't control and that they can't entirely govern within them and that are disruptive to life as they would want it. And even know. people in this case, let's be honest, upper middle, you know, people sure. who have... She has all the resources. Uh, uh, yeah. The perfect picture house, literally yeah. with the white picket fence. Yeah, and I think, and I think that, that just speaks to some of the mysteriousness of those issues that even with the resources, sometimes, you know, you still can't entirely tackle it. And thankfully, there have been many people who've come up to me um, after screenings and, you know, Ramin just said over email in the same way and just said, you know, how much they've been moved by it. And to me, that is just a, a special, fortunate thing. How is the film, which is so emotionally impactful, how has the film changed for you now as opposed to when you were first starting on it, when it was released? It just goes to such a uh, real and uncompromising place in the end that I find that I'm emotionally affected by it, and I've, I've seen it now hundreds of times, so it still affects me. As a director, I think that probably one of the biggest tasks is to figure out how to work with different human beings. They all want to work differently, and, and that was the case with Sarah and Josh. And, you know, Sarah, there was just a real fearlessness that she brought to it and was just so open, and, you know, she had done dramatic roles before but never a dramatic lead, and she just came, you know, so prepared and so ready and so open and so honest. And with Josh, it was a it was a little different that you know he and I would would talk about it almost like in terms of like a theater actor would and you know what what drives the character and we had slightly different discussions than I had with Sarah. This is a fearless movie and one I really encourage people to see. Especially you learn so much not only about the nature of something like depression but also just about the way a family copes. Hey, 